Hello friends, I am Kuchis Boshu, faculty of Luminous Institute. Today I will discuss morphology of flowering plants. Friends, look at the board. Morphology. Friends, we need to understand what is morphology. Actually, morphology means the external characters of plants. That means stem, leaf, root. The external characters of plants. Friends, in this chapter, we need to understand the structure of flower with its floral parts. First of all, we need to understand what is complete flower and incomplete flower. Complete flower. Actually, complete flower means when presence of Four floral parts that means calyx, corolla, and androecium gynoecium. When presence of four floral parts of a flower, it is called complete flower. Or when lack of any part, lack of any part like calyx, corolla, androecium, gynoecium of a flower is called incomplete flower. Is called incomplete flower. Actually friends, presence of calyx, corolla, androecium and gynoecium, these four parts when present, that call actually complete. When lack of any item, lack of any part, that is calyx, corolla, androecium, gynoecium, that call incomplete flower. These are the differences between complete and incomplete flowers. <coughs> The next portion, what is calyx? Friends, calyx, it is the green part of a flower. Better to say, the outermost hole of a flower. It is actually K, the green part of a flower. Corolla means the color part the color part of a flower the symbol is C friends androecium it is the male reproductive part of a flower the symbol is capital A gynoecium Gynoecium. It is the female reproductive part of a flower. The symbol is G. We need to understand the concept of calyx, corolla, androecium, and gynoecium. Now I discuss calyx. Calyx, the outermost hole of a flower, which is green in color. It is responsible for photosynthesis. Number one. It is responsible for photosynthesis. Actually, it is green in color. 
and outermost part. Calyx are of two types. It may be gamosepalus and polysepalus. Friends, what is the difference between gamma and poly? Actually, gamma means when calyx are united. That called gamma. Better to say the teeth of the calyx are united. When sepals are free, when sepals are free from base, that called actually poly. Poly means free, gamma means united. And the symbol is K and it is the outermost hole of a flower. Actually, gamma means united. Poly means free. And summation of sepals is equal to calyx. Friends, summation of sepals is equal to calyx. Actually, calyx composed of sepals. As for example, when a calyx consists of five teeth, that called K is equal to five. If it is gamma, that is K five. If it is poly. That means K. Actually, K5 and K. K5 means here presence of bracket, that means gamma, and absence of bracket, that means poly. These are the difference between gamma and poly. Now I discuss corolla. <clears throat> Friends, the color part Friends, actually the color part of a flower is called corolla Actually, presence of petals five in number. Petals number five. Summation of petals is equal to corolla. Corolla is composed of petals, and here. The petal number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, the symbol is C5. If, is, if it is gamoic situation, that is C5 bracket. If it is free, that is without bracket. Actually, friends, gamopetalus, like sepal, it may be gamopetalus. Gamopetalus or maybe polypetalus or maybe polypetalus. Friends, gamma means united, poly means without packing. The symbol is here gamma, this is gamma, this is poly. Here the two part. Friends, the next portion, the next hole of the flower, actually the male reproductive structure of a flower called androecia. Androecia. 
Actually, the male reproductive part of a flower, it consists of stamen. It has a filament, a filament, and anther and the connective part. Connective part. Friends, this is called stamen, the unit of androsia. Actually, more than one stamen, more than one stamen, that means androsia as a whole, it is called, as a whole, it is called androsia. Androsia means here the symbol is A. More than one stamen means summation of stamen. Summation of stamens actually called androsia. It is the male reproductive part of a flower. The next portion, gyrosium. Actually, gyrosium, gyrosium. It is the female reproductive part. Here the gynosium consists of it is the female reproductive part. It consists of stigma. That is the upper part. Style and ovary. And it has Thalamus, thalamus, the part. Actually, the symbol is G. Friends, I hope the concept will be clear. You can solve your problem easily. Thank you.